What's up, everyone? Hardwell here from Philly Insider, and we've got some roster moves today for the Phils. Drew Ellis has been called up, as well as Johan Rojas. Interesting decisions there. I think when Josh Harrison was put on the 10-day injured list a few days ago, there's a lot of speculation it might be Scott Kingery or Weston Wilson. I was kind of in the same boat. I thought they might create a 40-man roster spot for one of them and maybe move Drew Ellis off the 40-man roster, which they did not end up doing. That's probably why, I mean, Drew Ellis is coming up just because they, they probably didn't want to have to create a 40-man roster spot and all that. He was just probably the easy call up, can play corner infield. Not exactly the best guy versus left-handed pitching, so it was an interesting decision there. I'd probably rather have Kingery to, you know, platoon or, you know, just have positional versatility that Harrison provides or have Weston Wilson to kind of platoon with Derek Hall or and play the corner infield a good bit. Um, but I'm fine with it. Drew Ellis is up. That's, that's you know, fine with me. Um, you know, he had a couple big hits the last time he came here. We'll see if he can maybe uh, provide some of that magic again. But hopefully not up here for too, too long. I think the deadline moves, they're probably – they're probably going to move some of these guys off the roster once they bring in some guys at the deadline. But Johan Rojas, this is the more interesting one to me. He gets called up. First off, before I say anything on him, congrats to him. Um, you know, he's been in the Philly system for a little bit now. You know, he's still one of our top prospects to this day. I mean, he's he's been ready to play center field defensively his, almost his entire career. I mean, he's got the speed out there. He's got the speed on the base paths, too. Um, I mean, looking at this guy in the minor leagues total, He's had how many stolen bases? 159 in 430 games, and he's only been caught stealing 36 times. Pretty incredible. I mean, not only does he have the speed, he gets good jumps too. So that's exciting. He's also had a better approach at the plate this year too. He's hitting 306, 845 OPS. His approach at the plate has always been, and his, his bat has always kind of been the thing in question while he's been a prospect, but starting to come along this year in double A, we'll see kind of how that progresses as the year moves along. Cause I imagine he'll be back there at some point. Uh, I think this is probably, you know, temporary. I think it's just Christian Pache. He has right elbow irritation. Apparently he's on the 10 day injured list retroactive to July 11th. So July 21st, he'll be eligible to come back, I guess, or maybe the 22nd. But point being, I think this is just a short term thing, but it is interesting. They call him up. Obviously he's a righty. So I guess that's why they don't go with cave or Muziati. They probably wanted a righty in there to, you know, hit against lefties. Although Rojas isn't hitting his splits against lefties aren't great in the minor leagues, but um, you know, maybe the Phillies have more data on that than I obviously probably do more, more than I do. But point being, um, you know, obviously he has, he probably has more speed than Christian Pache if we're being honest. Um, and he's a real, like Pache is a pretty tremendous center, like defensive center fielder and defensive left fielder too. Um, Rojas is going to provide that as well in center field. So I imagine he'll probably get some reps against lefties um, when Marsh is on the bench. And I imagine he's going to play a little bit over these next, uh, what, two, three series. I, I don't expect him to be up here long, but I am excited to see him. You know, he every time I've seen him play, it seems like he's a guy who um, he's like, like I said, he's just flying around in center field. And you got to love those guys who are just going to put their body on the line for the, for the love of the game. So I am excited to see Rojas and see what he does. It was surprising to me I didn't I didn't know about the Christian Pache injury news apparently that was out for a little bit now that he was dealing with something um the last day or two but I wasn't aware of that so I will be curious to see how Rojas does in a short time up here I do think Pache is going to be here the rest of the season once he's back he has had some injury problems though so I I am a little bit concerned if he's going to be able to be you know durable enough for the rest of the season if he's going to be that option that we can keep on the roster the rest of the season healthy because he has contributed he really has contributed in his role and it is unfortunate he's down again with an injury after he just came back from one it feels like not long ago so hopefully he's all good um but i am excited to see what rojas can do and congrats to him and yeah he's having a real good year in the phillies harm system so hopefully he's a guy who comes up and contributes while he's here and can continue to progress when he goes back down in the minor leagues but that's all I got for y'all. Um, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. God bless. Ring the bell. Go Phils. We'll be back in action tonight at 6 p.m.